I'm going to go over how I put the grommets on the hammock. The grommets on the Navy hammock are number four spurred grommets made out of what I think is grade 80 alloy steel, but I have seen others with brass grommets. I can find only three buying options of materials for spurred grommets, brass, nickel plated brass, and stainless steel. I chose to go with nickel plated brass as it is more corrosion resistant than brass but not nearly as expensive as stainless steel. These grommets are different than a hardware store grommet because of the spurs on the washer side. The spurs keep the material from being pulled out of the grommet better than a standard grommet. I will be using a total of 24 grommets, 12 on each end of the hammock. I marked locations for the grommets evenly spaced at 3.5 inches on center. Installation of these grommets requires a cutting punch to make the hole. It takes a fair amount of hammering to get through all three layers of thick canvas. Make sure to do this on a firm surface that will not break the punch blade. It would have been much easier on the arms if I bought the drill powered hole cutter for only a few more dollars. I used a hammer driven installation punch to set the grommets. These die punches are specific for spurred grommets, so a standard grommet die set will not work. Insert the elongated neck of the grommet into the fabric on the downside of the fabric and place it on the base of the die. Place the washer side of the grommet on top of the hole and insert the die punch into the grommet. With a soft but firm mallet, hammer the punch to lock the grommet together. This will most likely take a few hits. If I were to make many hammocks, then I would purchase a press that could cut and press the grommets because it would greatly increase production speed and decrease fatigue. Next up in the series is weaving a navy clue with natural fiber rope. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with my new videos.